Welcome to our channel, where we provide the latest updates and in-depth analysis of current global military developments. We investigate key events and the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, as reports emerge of heavy losses suffered by Russian forces. In this report, we'll take you to the front lines of the war where Ukrainian forces are. In a terrifying new video, a Ukrainian FPV drone is shown flying straight into the open command hatch of a Russian main battle tank. The drone then explodes, seemingly detonating the ammunition inside. This is only the most recent instance of how operators on both sides are using incredibly deadly and precise unmanned aerial vehicle control to eliminate everything from individual soldiers to pricey, high-value targets like top tanks. The Special Operations Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine first uploaded the video on Telegram on April 11. It was then shared on X. In it, many successful strikes against Russian systems and vehicles, including what analysts identify as a Russian T-90M tank, which Putin has referred to as the greatest tank in the world, are carried out by Ukrainian first-person drones. In one scene in particular, the drone takes off toward the tank, fly its way cautiously through what looks to be a cage constructed on top of it, and lands in the open hatch of the tank. The footage then cuts to a surveillance drone's perspective of an explosion inside the tank from a likely ammunition cook-off. FPV drone operators of the 8th separate regiment of the SSO inflicted significant losses on the enemy in the Donetsk direction, Ukraine's special operations forces said on Telegram. The SSO claim to have successfully eliminated a T-90, a T-72, and two other vehicles, as well as carried out individual attacks on Russian soldiers in trenches. For Ukraine, this kind of high-precision killing is nothing new. A Ukrainian military member of the UAV unit, known as the Magyar Birds of the 59th Motorized Brigade, posted a video last March showing several FPV drones exploding and crashing into the open doors of Russian vehicles. In the video, the voiceover says that if a direct attack is unsuccessful, then the mastery and experience of the pilot is of the utmost importance, according to the translation. Drone operators have become invaluable assets for both sides of the war, and prime targets, in some cases, operators have been documented using their drones to target each other, hoping to take out their enemy's capabilities for flying the UAVs that have dramatically complicated battlefield maneuver and combat operations. The recent attack on the apparent T-90M is another notable loss for the Russian army. Expert drone operators, their abilities honed on the front, can stalk just a single foot soldier to their death, diving after them into hideouts and trenches, the surge in small drones in Ukraine has turned the area beyond either side of the zero line, normally known as the gray zone, into the death zone, said Oleksandr Nastenko, commander of Code 9.2, a drone unit in Ukraine's 92nd Brigade. Those who dare to move day or night under the prying eyes of enemy drones are dead immediately, he said. Cheap drones deployed in Ukraine have transformed modern warfare and initially gave Ukrainian troops an advantage on a battlefield where they are perpetually outnumbered and outgunned. This is the evolution of our survival, Nestenko said. But the Russians quickly caught on and began mass-producing their own drones. What followed was an overabundance of disposable deadly drones and electronic warfare devices, known as jammers that disrupt their flights. Most common are first-person view, or FPV drones typically controlled by a pilot wearing a headset and holding a remote controller. What we're witnessing right now is blitzkrieg drone warfare, said Andrew Koda, chief of staff at BRANC Drones, a Seattle-based drone company sending equipment to Ukraine. Koda said that drones in Ukraine are as game-changing as tanks were in World War I. It is pretty stalemate, he said, because if you are out in the open, you will be hunted. The technological advances probably have saved lives because drone pilots can work slightly farther from the zero or contact line than traditional infantry. But the saturation of drones, many with thermal cameras that work at night, has also shrunk the space where troops can move safely without being spotted, 
leading to high casualties and in recent months, largely preventing either side from making major breakthroughs. These conditions combined with widespread minefields and shortages of ammunition and soldiers now make it virtually impossible for Ukraine to retake swaths of territory as it did in 2022. Russia, which has ample missile stocks and superior aviation power, capitalized on Ukraine's ammunition shortages to seize the strategic eastern town of Avdiivka and is now pushing to take more land.